Park Road right now, just walking down from the High Street. Um, this is really the place that's got the feel, um, as far as I'm concerned. It's full of character, uh, full of little quirky little places. I believe there's an antique shop along here as well, and a lovely little pub called The Swan. Um, what you've got down here is you've got these wonderful little cottages, absolutely wonderful, uh, which you'll soon start to see behind me, and a really good place to start as a first-time buyer, but also as a downsizer, uh, also as an investor. These always rent out really, really well. Um, it's just literally the cutest place. What I find with Bushy Village is you have to walk Bush, Bushy Village rather than drive it to really appreciate it because you've got all these lovely little cottages and then you have something like this. You walk into them, you're walking straight into the living room these very welcoming entrance porches and then as I said here's the antique shop and the old bakery um, really unusual you're just walking in a little residential street and then you find a place like this And at the end of Park Road, it comes out onto Herkimer Road. And again, you've got a lovely little stretch here with much larger houses. I actually sold that one during uh, the summer's lockdown. And uh, then start walking down Herkimer Road. And I think we'll walk up Rudolph Road. So when you walk along Herkimer Road and the roads that are off for it, such as Nightingale Road and Bourne Hall Avenue, um, you sort of come into more 1930s, early 1930s semi-detached houses. Uh, they're obviously much bigger than the cottages, not as big as these big detached uh, properties opposite. Um, but again, really great mid-sized family homes. Um, and I find the ones that I tend to go into, people are really keeping in amazing condition. Uh, everything just looks so sleek now. So now turning up into Rudolph Road. So as you're sort of walking up Rudolph Road, you notice a mixture of styles here. Uh, so what you tend to find is uh, the first few at the bottom are more 1930s houses, probably because um, well, probably because the road was much smaller or there could have been bombed houses. And then you're going into slightly larger period properties than there are on Park Road. So these you would walk into, these are Edwardian properties. Um, these also are great, they've got good high pitches on the, on the roofs. So you could go up onto the lofts, make loft conversions, in fact, if you look at them, this side of the road, the houses are quite different from the style on this side of the road. But they're all built, I would say, around the same sort of time. They're built in blocks. So you've got blocks probably built early 1900s, then another few years later, another block. There seems to be a mixture of properties with square bays on the ground floor and uh, round bays on the ground floor. In fact, you've got properties like these ones, which are lovely. And they're obviously new, built in the same style as the original houses that were here. So as I'm walking up Rudolph Road, um, now coming up to the Bushy Museum, and I remember, I haven't been here for years, but I remember coming here probably, probably must be about 26, 27 years ago now. Um, and it's fantastic. I, I, love, I love it when a town or a village has got its own museum. You just find out so much about the heritage and it actually bonds you to your, to your town. And there's the fire station here as well on the left-hand side. 